Hi right, guys, Dave Mad Mac. We're back at the Mac and today is a very special Bee Belt by Brosler. Not only because it's Bee Belt Day today, but because it's Big Stanimal <laughs> birthday. And for the first time, we have him on the show. Stanimal, happy birthday, man. Thank you, happy birthday. Much. Thanks for the gift. 30 years old. 30 years old. 30 year old child. I would, I would kill to be 30. I was telling you. So, um, so we had Stan on the radio uh, on PBW a few weeks ago. And at the end, we said, hey, how about, you know, next time, you know, Eric has a new program to, to show on, on camera, how about you come and do the workout? So, you know, we were lucky, actually, they didn't go to train with Sean today because of the mudslide and all that stuff. So we have him in town and Stan agreed to do a full workout with us. So that's what we're going to do today. E, you got some new stuff for the show today. Yeah, uh, well, you know, I am always coming up with new training programs, uh, all the way back from PRRS, <laughs> which Stan used to use back in the day before Which is I even really knew. cool. When he started training, he actually used your new programs. So it's yeah. full circle. Yeah, huh? I, mean, I, I brought PRS out in uh, uh, the year 2000. Wow. And I think it hit um, the first magazine article in like 2002. So it's been out for a while. Uh, but anyway, we've, we've evolved a lot since then. Uh, and this latest program was called SPEC, which is S-P-E-C. Oh, that's uh, what the That's what SPEC is. I put, it on my, I put it on my Facebook page and just said, get on SPEC. I liked I it, but I didn't even know what it was like. It. Right. I didn't know what it is. It was just kind of a... And I'm going to introduce it today here on Be Built by Browser, and I'm going to introduce it to Stan. Awesome. Uh, Stan's getting ready for the Olympia this year, so we want him to kill everybody. So We're giving so him an edge. Any, any ammunition you. we can give him. So the SPEC training program is actually... Uh, sort of a, a, an offshoot of ESPX2, which we've done on here a few times. Yeah. Uh, so I'll explain it as we go along. But again, it's a new training program. It's going to be we're going to be focusing more on. Uh, obviously, we're going to use some you know fun exercises, but uh, it's not going to be the exercise. It's going to be the technique that we use with every exercise that's going to be important. So awesome. I'm really excited to be having have Stan here today doing these exercises. <laughs> and as you can see, we're full fledged off season, which is why both of us have these beards. And we you always of, have the beard. Uh, well, a <laughs> he doesn't. Stan, uh, Stan's usually clean. You know, whatever, he, so. kind of, he kind of looks like uh, you, uh, like a uh, Wolverine a little yeah. bit. Uh, so we're, we're in off season mode, but that's the time to grow, which is the perfect time to have him. So awesome. All right. Thank Thanks for being here, Stan. Oh, Happy birthday, man. <laughs> okay, guys, so for the first exercise, we're doing uh, back and shoulders today, so we're going to do a little bit of back first. Uh, and the first exercise is going to be an underhand grip pull down. Uh, great movement for the belly of the lats to make you a little bit wider, but the way we're going to do it uh, in the spec training program, the S coming first, that means stretch emphasis. So we're going to be emphasizing the stretch. Uh, every single rep is going to have a stretch of about four seconds. We're really going to take a, a, a large effort to really stretch the lats really, really deeply between each rep. Now, when you stretch a muscle under tension, uh, it causes an anabolic response. So it's a very, very good method for growth, especially when you start the workout with it. Uh, so I'm going to have Stan do it. I'm going to help him through it. He's going to do a set first, and then he's going to get in the groove, and then we're going to film the second set, and you can see exactly how it's done. Okay, so now you can see Stan, the setup. You can see his lats pulling right there. Take about three seconds, two to three seconds to the top. Hold for four seconds. And you see he's doing a little bit of a bounce. He actually asked me about this in between sets. He said, should I do everything that I can to get a better stretch? And I said, yes. So if you feel that, that getting a slight little bounce during the stretch is gonna help you get a better stretch, that's what I want. Now when you stretch a muscle under tension, like I mentioned, it causes a lot of fiber damage, a lot of micro trauma. And that micro trauma brings about muscle growth. So this is a great way to spur on muscle growth. If you have to use a weight, you can use some time under tension. You want to have at least 30 seconds under tension or more. And we're focusing on that stretch. You can see he's still very strict on every rep. Chest is out. He's pulling with the belly of the lats. Full stretch at the top. Getting that little bit of a bounce, which helps him. Squeezing it down. He's muscling it down with the lats. Squeeze, good. Hold for four. Okay, so lat pull downs are done. The second exercise in our program of spec is the P, and that means peak contraction emphasis. So the first exercise, we emphasize the stretch. Now we're gonna emphasize the peak contraction. Every single movement we do is gonna emphasize a different portion of the rep or change the way we do the rep. So now we're gonna squeeze and hold the movement for four seconds at the top. You're gonna really, really 
what I want you to do is something called hyper contraction. So it's not just really just holding the weight in position. It's actually flexing and squeezing. Just like as if you weren't even holding the weight yourself and you're just squeezing yourself. So you want to combine that flex with the holding of the weight. And we're going to do it here on the Merlin low cable row, which we've shown you many times. I want to give this one to Stan here because we want to build the striations in his lower inner back and build some more thickness off the spine. So uh, Stan will stem on the second set. First, got used to it on the first set. Okay, so as you can see, Stan is set up on the incline bench. We set it about 60 degrees, but that can change set to set. He's starting a full stretch at the bottom. He's using a wide enough close grip so that he can actually get high enough so he can fully contract the muscle at the top. He's holding every rep for four seconds at the top, exhaling at the top, sticking his chest out, and really, really hyper flexing those lower lats. So he's not only using the weight, but he's also flexing his lower back as if he's on stage. Full stretch, up, tight squeeze. This is gonna build striations and thickness in the lower lat muscles off the spine and into the lower back. Now Dave's gonna go around the back and show you how it's working. So we're on to exercise number three of our back routine, our spec back routine. Uh, this is the E in the spec, which means eccentric emphasis. So we're going to be emphasizing the lowering or the negative portion of the repetition. Again, uh, lowering a weight very slow against resistance has been proven to actually build more muscle mass than anything else because it tears apart the muscle fibers. It causes micro trauma in the fibers. We're always stronger in the eccentric portion, in the concentric portion of a rep, so we can handle a lot of weight and we can lower really nice and slow. We're gonna do it here on a chest supported row with a wide grip. The first two exercises were more for the belly of the lats. We're gonna do an exercise now for the mid back. And again, we'll have uh, Stan demonstrate the horror to all of you guys out there. <laughs> okay, so now Stan is gonna emphasize the eccentric, as you can see, comes to the top, sets for one second. Lowers over about five seconds. Comes to the top, squeeze hold. Now, the set at the top is really to allow you to contract the muscles that you're working, hold them, and then actually keep them contracted almost on the way down. I don't want him to use his biceps and his forearms for the eccentric contraction. I want him to use his back. So he sets at the top, squeezes the back and puts the emphasis into the muscles that we're working on the way down. If you don't set at the top, it's very difficult to feel it in your back on the way down. Squeeze up, hold. This is gonna build a lot of mass in the rhomboids, mid traps, and of course, the lats. Perfect set. Okay, so we're on our uh, fourth and final exercise today. We're only doing two work sets per exercise, which Dave and I usually do. It's a lot less volume than Stan usually does, but uh, I'm trying to teach him that it's not the intensity, it's not the volume, it's the intensity of the movement and time under tension, so maybe I'll cut down on the volume every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, like, I like this approach, for just an adjustment for me. I'm used to go up in weight every time, so now I have to find more like the, the right weight right away. So. Yeah, that's true, because what we do is we warm up, uh, and after we're warmed up, we go right to the work set, so we have to make sure that we pick the right weight. Uh, even if we're shooting for eight to 10 reps, uh, we don't stop at 10 if we're not finished at 10. If we're finished at 15, we stop at 15, and then we can always adjust on the second set. So there's nothing wrong with that. But anyway, this movement we're gonna do is the final movement in the spec program. Uh, it's the C, which is now uh, contraction, I mean, uh, it's gonna be concentric emphasis. So we just did eccentric emphasis, now we do concentric or positive emphasis. So this basically means that we're gonna move the positive rep very, very slowly. Again, it's gonna be about four or five, could be even six seconds sometimes. Uh, and again, this is another way, another method for uh, kind of giving the muscle something and the central nervous something that it's not used to. Uh, most people, if you go into the gym, you'll see them moving weight from point A to point B in uh, one second. 
maybe some people do two seconds. Uh, that's not always the best thing to do because you want to keep the muscle under tension for a long time and you want to give you, your, your muscles a novel stress. So we've already emphasized the stretch, we've emphasized the peak contraction, the eccentric portion, and now the concentric portion. These are very, very slow and grueling reps. Do not try to go too heavy, otherwise you're not going to be able to get those slow concentrics. And we're going to do it here on a Merlin incline uh, wide grip pull down. Just as far as this movement goes, I find that this movement uh, slightly superior to a regular pull down. Not that you shouldn't do regular pull downs, but maybe you want to intersperse this with it. Uh, it gives a really, really good contraction to the mid, back, especially good for competitors who have to do back double bicep shots. You work all those little muscles in the back and get all those details out. And again, Mr. Stan will demonstrate for us on his 30th birthday. Yeah, and uh, if I want to ask, what's the good thing about all these methods is that you learn, you learn how to really feel the muscle throughout the whole full range of motion. A lot of time when you just move the weight, you don't, you don't really feel the muscle contract. So here you really feel it like elongate and then contract slowly from like the beginning to the end of the, of the movement. So it's pretty good. <laughs> okay, so you can see the angle of this movement. Bench is at about, I don't know, maybe 65 degrees, 70 degrees. You play with the angle as well. The key to the movement is to start all the way from the top of the full stretch, come down, arch the lower back, and stick the chest up high, and squeeze. Of course, we're emphasizing the concentric, so he's going to count his head. Five, four, three, two, one. On the one is when he hits contraction. Controls it to the top, starts a full stretch. Five, four, three, two, elbows back, squeeze. Again, the squeeze, even though we're not emphasizing it, it's still part of the movement. Now Dave's going to walk around the back and show you how it's working his back. Come on, Sam. Come on, Olympia. Olympia, come on. Best of the best, come on. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Feel it, pull away, just like you said. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on. Two more. Five, four, three, two, one. One more, come on. Here we go. Okay, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. That's it.